Hi. Thank you. That's a very complicated question. All right, in, in a nutshell, tell me who is Natalie Mandu. Natalie Mandu. Natalie Mandu is a girl who's working so hard to try and defy all stereotypes pinned on women by society. That's just basically who I am. Who's stereotyping women? Okay, before I answer to that, can I ask you a question? Sure. If Rihanna posts a picture of herself in a nice swimsuit, your reaction is, ooh, sexy, right? But if uh, Tarisai from Kwazana posts a picture like that, Raini Rezer knows, oh my God, she's a hoe. Problem, Diani. Problem is that African society is not open-minded to people stepping out of the box and leaving okay. according to the times. I beg to differ. Really? African society is not like that. Women are like that. Let me tell you one thing. If you post a, po a photo on social media, you can tell someone who backlash most are women. This is a man who don't agree with you. I got to go begin. Any man out there can 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 side with me. Just don't agree with you. You're going to No guy would go out there and talk trash. That. All right. So you're, you're talking from assumption, and I'm talking from experience. I'm I am a boudoir lingerie model. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. Right. I get so sexualized by men. So much is disgusting. I'm not a feminist. I'm not one of those that believe, oh my God, females should be superior. No, okay. I like to state facts. Let me, let, me, let me put it this way. Men are like kids. We talk on things that we see, that I wanna. That, you get it? You saying yeah. that is toxic masculinity. Do you know why? Because mm -hmm. you're justifying why men would do certain things. I, I, it's not a question of men or women. I said society, meaning including women. I'm not limiting this to men alone. I'm saying both men and women. Our African society is not open-minded to a lot of things. For example, mm -hmm. there's the issue of the LGBTQI society. A lot of people struggle to accept that. Mm -hmm. Nobody chooses their sexuality, right? Mm -hmm. But how many of our parents are willing to accept that if you wake up today and you say, ah, mom, I'm gay, are your parents going to accept it? Well, because of society and Thank because you. of my culture. No, we are back to society. Mm -hmm. Hence, I said I'm a female who is trying so hard to defy all stereotypes that are pinned on us by our African society. Why do we have so much negative energy coming from women, especially on social media, asking you? But I, I know you've been bullied before. Yes, I, I know you've been called all sorts of names on social media. But if you look at the numbers of people who will be uh, saying certain things to you, are women, fellow women. Funny story, I recently got bullied by a guy. <coughs> and like I said, Let's not pin toxic traits to genders. Mm -hmm. Because it's always been women gossip, men gossip too of late. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a question of sexuality, so there are some men who really behave like women, and they gossip a lot. Okay. So this is why I said society, because I don't want to say, oh, women are like that, or men are like that. Mm -hmm. It's a question of all of us. We're all wired differently. Hence, I said, my, my goal is to defy all stereotypes pinned on females by society. I'm a, I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. By virtue of being a single mother, there's this, she's probably all over the place. That's attached to single parents. Most single mothers are disrespected. Why? Because society believes you're a single mother, but you show not even It's so degrading to be called that. I've never heard right. a single dad being called names, but he's also a single parent. Yeah. So I'm not trying to sit here and be a hypocrite and talk about, oh yeah, women are not respected. I simply said society is unfair. It's a, that's that's a, a topic for another day. Yes. For now, let me get, get back to knowing who Natalie is because I already see. Are you a lawyer, by the way? No, I'm not, but I studied law for a bit and I dropped out of school. You, sh you should try and pursue that because you're trying to convince me and I don't believe uh, in certain my things. My line of work requires me to study business. I, I love money so much, so I'm studying things that teach so, me how so to So tell money. me, tell me, Natalie, I know Natalie, man, do you, you're a mother, you're a businesswoman. How do you balance being a mother and being a, 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 a businesswoman as young as you are? I'm not young. You look very young to me. Do you remember when we were 21 and we used to say people in their 30s are old? Yeah. We're in our 30s now, so we're old. <laughs> okay, I, I thrive very well under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, in between being a parent to my 10-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. adolescents are very difficult, by the way, mm -hmm. and, be, uh, and being a businesswoman, 
I'm the founder and CEO of Star Philosophy, a bespoke clothing brand, and I'm slowly venturing into gas as well. I recently registered my other company, Masnat Logistics, mm -hmm. and I am also studying. I have a Harvard program I'm studying. I'll be done in August. Wow. And I am also literally the man in my family. I mean, I'm my mom, the come, my mom comes to me and says, uh, Baba, we don't have this. So be, uh, in between doing all of that, I find um, pleasure in knowing that I am being useful to those around me and those that need me. Do you know, just listening to you, to, to you uh, talk, you can really agree with me. Uh, I'm, I, have a, I have a person that I'm starting to see from the socialite uh, enchantress that a lot of people see.